Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at optionalpha.com and in today's take five segment, I wanted to show you guys why and give you guys a little bit of proof here as to why buying straddles when implied volatility is high is a horrible, horrible trade, even if the stock makes a huge move in one direction, right? So, so the big thing that people always talk about when they talk about buying straddles is buying them for a big one-time move in either direction. Well, yesterday, PBR, or and I'm sorry, today, PBR had a move where the stock is down today about 14%. So the ticker symbol again is PBR, and I can't really see it because it just cut off out of the screen, but the stock is down today about 14%. So I'd say that's a pretty big one-day move in the stock, wouldn't you? And right, and look, it's it's gapped considerably lower from yesterday's move. Now, obviously, this is a, a good time where people would say, hey, you know what, this is this is the opportunity where you need to be buying a straddle, right? You need to buy a call and buy a put at the same strike price, just taking advantage of a directional move. But what people fail to forget is they fail to forget the implied volatility factor that goes in there. And since yesterday, PBR had an implied volatility rating that was much, much higher, almost four times higher than it does today then what actually ended up happening is when you bought that straddle yesterday, if you did, and we're just going to use the 13 straddle for example, so uh, we're going to say that you bought and sold a put and call at the exact same strike price yesterday of 13. And if you bought that straddle yesterday, you paid a really, really high premium for that that trade because of the embedded implied volatility. Now you can see down here below in this graph down below is implied volatility. That implied volatility has gone from about 102 down to about 59 today. So it's definitely been cut almost in half uh, today. And you can see that that's obviously reflective of just a, a big move lower, but also we're now past a, an announcement out of Brazil. So there's less you know, uncertainty, less volatility in the market, and EWZ is, is very, very similar to that. Now, when you go to the actual trade tab here of PBR, you'll notice that the position, if you had bought the closest contracts, so the weekly contracts, which have a lot of embedded implied volatility, but again, just trying to take advantage of that one day move. If you had bought that 13 straddle, that call and put, it's currently trading at about 198. Now yesterday, when I went in here to check this, knowing that this was gonna happen, this straddle was trading for about 270. So you actually lost almost $70 just purely in the drop in implied volatility, and yet the stock did make a huge one-day move of almost 14%. So it really kind of proves to you, hopefully, that implied volatility is a key factor in determining not only what options you trade, but what strategy that you select for that particular trade. So again, in this example, this stock PBR made a huge one day move of 14%. Had you bought the straddle yesterday, you would have paid 270 for that straddle, hoping that it would go up in price. And it's currently worth about 198. So you would have lost a little over $70 on just one straddle if you had gotten into this trade. So hopefully this really helps. And as always, the take five segments hopefully are here for you guys to take just five minutes out of your day to learn something new about options trading. And as always, happy investing.